Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So our today's topic is isotopes. So we will see in this video what do we mean by isotopes. We will also see a lot of different examples of isotopes. So before understanding what are isotopes, we must know a very basic fundamental concepts of what do we mean by atomic number and atomic mass number. So what is an atomic number? So here you can see atomic number is the total number of protons which is present in an atom. It is denoted by a letter capital Z. And what is atomic mass number? It is the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. So we had already seen last time what are protons. Protons are nothing but the positively charged particles present in the nucleus of an atom. Whereas the neutrons are present along with the protons in the nucleus. So this is the representation of any uh, chemical symbol or you can say an atom where uh, at the top we write the capital A that is the atomic mass number that is total number of protons plus neutrons and at the subscript you can see it is capital Z that is nothing but atomic number that is number of protons. So let us see now what are isotopes. So from the name itself it is very clear iso meaning same and topes comes from the word topos which means place. So what is isotopes? Same place. So atoms which have atomic same atomic number but different atomic mass numbers are called as isotopes. So why it is called same place? So since isotopes have same atomic number in a periodic table you would find that the isotopes of a particular atom would occupy same place in the periodic table. In this way you can remember isotopes. So let us see some examples. There is this carbon 12. There is, this is one of the isotopes of carbon. This is another carbon 14 and there is also uh, we will see some more examples. So the second picture you can see is something called as isotopic abundance. That is, for example, uh, the two isotopes of neon that is with atomic mass number 20 and 22. Uh, the isotopic abundance or the ratio of availability in nature is for one neon, 20, neon atom with 22 as the atomic mass number, there are nine neon atoms with atomic mass number 20. Similar goes for chlorine with atomic mass number 37 is 1 and the amount of chlorine with atomic mass number 35 is thrice as that of 37. So this is nothing but called as isotopic abundance. So let us see some examples. Hydrogen. So hydrogen has got three isotopes. As you can see, the number of protons are same in all of them. And uh, that's why they are called as isotopes. And you can also see that what varies is nothing but the number of neutrons. Here there is zero neutrons, here there is one neutron, here there is two neutrons. Since the number of neutrons are different, that is what uh, is something that makes the atomic mass number different and hence these three species are called as isotopes. So let us see what are the names of these isotopes. So uh, 1H1, this is called as protium or the normal hydrogen. Then 2H1, the atomic mass number 2 and atomic number 1, this is called as deuterium. And the third isotope of hydrogen is 3H1. This is called as tritium. So let us see some more examples. Uh, so here in this picture you can see it is very clear that this is 2H1 that is deuterium. Since it has got one neutron extra it is having a greater atomic mass number as compared to proton or normal proteum or hydrogen atom. So let us see some more examples. Carbon carbon you can see there are three isotopes carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon 14 
out of these three isotopes only uh, 12c6 is stable and this is also stable 13c6 is also stable whereas the third isotope is unstable or radioactive what is the difference between all these three here you can see the golden atom is nothing but the electrons golden spheres are electrons the red ones are neutrons and the blue ones are protons so this is the normal uh, carbon atom where you can see there are uh, six electrons six electrons six protons and six neutrons and when you see this here there is one neutron extra and here you can see there are two neutrons extra so here there are six neutrons seven neutrons eight neutrons so all these three since they are having same number of protons they have same atomic number but since the number of neutrons are different they are having different atomic mass numbers so c 12 c 6 13 c 6 and 14 c 6 are the three isotopes of carbon out of which two are stable and the carbon 14 is unstable or radioactive let us see some other examples oxygen oxygen has got again three examples 16 o 8 17 o 8 18 o 8 where you can see the number of neutrons here is 8 neutrons 9 neutrons and 10 neutrons respectively some more examples neon neon has again got three isotopes here there are 10 neutrons 11 neutrons 12 neutrons respectively whereas the number of protons are same in all these three species you can see there are 10 protons so these are a pair of isotopes so let us see some more examples chlorine chlorine has got two isotopes that is 35 chlorine 17 37 chlorine 17 you can see the number of protons is same that is atomic number is again same but the atomic mass number would be different because here there are 18 neutrons and here there are 20 neutrons so these are the two isotopes of chlorine and uh, let us see another example that is uranium it has again got three isotopes as you can see the number of protons in each one of them is same that is 92 protons and uh, you can see the number of neutrons is different that is here you have 146 neutrons 143 neutrons and 142 neutrons so these are the isotopes of uranium so now let us summarize all the isotopes that we have from atomic number 1 to atomic number 10 that is neon so hydrogen as we saw there are three isotopes that is protium or proton or hydrogen H hydrogen 2 that is deuterium and tritium helium has two isotopes lithium has two isotopes beryllium doesn't have any isotopes uh, boron also does boron has two isotopes carbon as we saw has three isotopes out of which c 12c and 13c are stable whereas 14th one is unstable because it is radioactive in nature nitrogen has got three isotopes oxygen three isotopes fluorine doesn't have any isotopes and finally we also saw neon has got three isotopes so here we come to the end of today's video in the next video we will learn some more important terms uh, like isobars isotones isodiaphers isosters what do we mean by all these terminologies so thank you so much